so I just come out here to just check on the chickens, uh, get some stuff I left off here on the table. And then Millie was laying out here. And actually we saw last night on the, the blink cameras, it was like 9.30 last night. It was dark out. And the blink camera caught the pig coming out here by the chicken coop, digging holes or eating or something. And he never comes out at night. I don't know what the hell he was doing. But he was out here for about 15 or 20 minutes and then went back to bed. And here he is. I came out here and I pet him and then he lays next to me and he's so big and heavy, just knocked a chair and just fell on my ass. Right, Moo? Right, Moo? This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today I wanted to talk about moving out into the middle of nowhere. Uh, we always, you know, lived in town. I, we lived near cities and stuff. Growing up, I moved all over the country. And living in New Jersey, I used to camp and hunt out here. And I always wanted to live out here in Chatsworth. Now, we did move out here. Um, it's not bad. But a lot of people like with the stuff that's going on and in case shit hits the fan and the apocalypse coming and stuff, everybody's talking about moving out into the middle of nowhere. We can do it. Um, but I think a lot of people today are so used to certain things, they wouldn't handle it out here. They wouldn't survive. I know people that have moved out here and when there's a little glitch in the power, um, the internet... It's windy as hell out here. I'm sorry. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this. It's 95. It feels like 102. It's hot as hell out here. But when the power goes out, we do have power outages. The internet goes down. For the last couple of days, the internet would come and go, and it would blink out for 24 hours, come back on for about an hour, blink back out. And people are about to lose their freaking minds. So this is... Do you want to move out into the middle of nowhere? Are there certain things you can live without and certain things you can't? Now, I am at the end of my driveway, and if you notice, there's certain things you'll see out here that you won't see anywhere else, or certain things that are missing. This is my street. That's my mailbox. Is there anything that you don't see? Uh... We don't have any neighbors except for way down there. This is all blueberries and just fields. There's another house over here. But you'll notice there's certain things that you don't see. I'll get back to that later. Now this is our main road. As you can see, this is our main road. It's got heavy traffic on it at times and then nothing. But I keep saying town, my town is so small. It's not a town, it's a village. It has less people than a town. And they say it's bigger than a hamlet, whatever that is. But this is a village. I live in a village and this is our main road. Um, the traffic didn't used to be this much, but since they're building up around us, this is the main way to get from one place to another. This is like the cut through. So the traffic here sometimes can be pretty bad. Now this being our main road, do you notice this road lacking anything compared to most most roads in your town or neighborhood 
I'll get back to that. Now, even being as small as this village is, there's really no stores around here. You gotta drive for quite a while. But if you are hungry, here in Chatsworth, she's not open now, but this is Hot Diggity Dog. Makes the best hot dog and sausages. She's been in a couple magazines and newspapers. This is where you want to go. This place is crowded all the time. But what else are you going to do out here? You know what I mean? And this is another main road that cuts through my town. Do you notice anything missing yet? Are you catching on? You don't notice it? Keep watching. Now this is our main highway. And do you notice anything missing here? You won't find you won't find any street lights or cell phone towers anywhere around here. A lot of traffic. Okay, now what I'm trying to say is we moved out here away from suburbia. Uh, we can pretty much do what we want out here. Um, I mean, we have one neighbor that's next door and then one that's catty corner way over there. I mean, we're not completely in the middle of nowhere, but the town or village itself is. There's nothing here other than a tiny post office, a little school, hot diggity dog, the general store that used to be here has been closed for a couple of years. The two bar restaurants that were like biker bars and a place to eat, they're closed. They've been closed for years. There's not much to do out here. And I mean, the power will go out sometimes. I mean, it was like almost two weeks, like two years ago. The power was out for almost two weeks. Uh, the internet comes and goes. We don't have super fast internet. I mean, I can download videos. I mean, I can upload a YouTube video. We're not as bad as some places. I know a couple people that have moved, and they have no internet. Um, they can't watch. I mean, they go into town, which is quite a ways. Uh, they'll make videos, and when they go into town, like once a week or every other week, it's like a coffee shop, delicatessen or something, and or a bookstore, they go in there, they get their coffee or tea, they get a sandwich, they take their laptop, they upload their videos and stuff. Uh, a couple people I know that live out like towards Missouri, um, there is no Amazon overnight. I mean, everything takes forever to get there. Now we have a little teeny post office. Uh, our mail is pretty regular, but not all the time. Uh, we don't have a problem. Amazon is here. FedEx is here every freaking day almost. Um, unless I order something, it takes three months to get here. But everybody in the house, everybody else in the house gets their stuff in two or three days. But there's not much to do here. I mean, everybody seems to be watching TV. This town, we have a couple of historic sites. I mean, this town's been around forever. And it's... I mean, it's known for blueberries and cranberries. Most of the people here are like second and third, fourth generation cranberry growers. Um, that's all that's around here. Uh, all the local stores are, are pretty much closed or went out of business. The Hot Diggity Dog is a great place to go. It's on the main road. I know our main roads are like your back roads, but there's no street lights out here. I mean, I think there's one maybe two in, on the main strip. Uh, as far as internet and my phone, I mean, we have a regular landline in the house. We have Wi-Fi. But my cell phone, oh, pretty much all our cell phones, work in the house. If I'm out in a garage or if I'm out here in the yard, 
30 feet from the house, I really don't have any reception. The streets are dark as hell at night. If there's no moon, you can't see anything. I broke down in my ambulance in the army truck one night coming home. I had electrical issues and the headlights were blowing out. I couldn't see anything on the side of the road. There's no street lights out here. And there's no cell service. When you go into town, the closest thing here is a Wawa, and that's 25, 30 minutes away. I mean, if you want something, you're going to drive. If you want to go to Walmart or Target, um, you're looking at 45 minutes to get there, which is fine for us. But, like, out here, and, like, you know, if you're driving for half an hour out here, there is no cell service. When the power goes out, you have no phone. You have no Internet. There's nothing. So you need something to entertain yourself. You know, read a book or something. You know, my wife and I don't have a problem. When the power goes out, it's like, eh, well, I guess we'll get more shit done. We won't be sitting watching YouTube. Um, other people are like, the power's out. If it's more than an hour, they're, they're ready to commit suicide. Uh, I mean, that's the way it is out here. Now, we know people that have moved out here, and I got people that visit. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, my phone doesn't work. I got no reception. I'm like, you won't. You won't unless you hook up to my Wi-Fi. You're not going to get anything. How do you live out here? I don't need it. If the Wi-Fi goes out, the internet goes out tomorrow. It, I don't really care. You know. Um, is that something you can deal with? There's people that have moved out here, and they've been here like three or four years, some a little bit longer that want to change things in this town to be like where they move from, to get away from things. They want to put solar fields in. They, they, they want street lights all up and down the road. It's so dark out there, you know, if you break down, we need cell phone towers everywhere because your cell phones don't work. If you break down, what are you going to do? Growing up, we didn't have cell phones. We didn't have street lights in some places. If you broke down, you walked. You walked to a nearest house or you flagged down a car. We don't need this town to be like suburbia. That's why we moved out here. So if you want to get away from that stuff and you move out to a place like this, don't try and change it. Don't get on the board and say, you know, we want this, we want... Now, there was talk of Ocean Spray closing down here. They have a couple hundred acres of farm fields where they grow stuff. And they're talking about selling that and they're like oh we should put a Walmart down here we should put an Aldi's that's three quarters of a mile from my house we don't want that we don't have a problem driving 45 minutes or an hour or whatever it is to Aldi's or Walmart or Target the traffic here is so bad already we don't need anything closer we like it it's too congested as it is as far as we're concerned so if you want to move out to a place like this, can you adjust? I mean, we do have the internet. Uh, you know, we do have mail and stuff like that. Some places they don't. So look into that before you move and pack everything up and like, oh my God, I don't have internet. Or I have internet, but it's so slow, I can't upload a video. I, I can't find that stuff out before you move. And where you live, I mean, is there anything to do in walking distance? And there's people here that are pissed off, like, oh my God, you know, I, I can't walk to the store. You're not, you're not walking anywhere around here. Um, I just want to point, point that out to you, that's all. Uh, so many people wanting to move out in the middle of nowhere, but they're so used to this sub suburban life in this city, and they want to bring all that shit with them. Well, we don't want that here, so... Is that something you can, can you deal with power outages and driving an hour to go to a store, an hour back? I mean, when you go shopping, it's pretty much half your day is shot. That's why we don't go every day. So, this is Pony Prepper Bill, and um, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.